Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. And for this video, I wanted to do another um, discussion or topic on Keppra. Now, Keppra is a anticonvulsant drug, and it is it's a good drug altogether. But with some people, it doesn't correlate with their brain. I took this drug in 2016 after I was diagnosed with epilepsy. And a few weeks or months of taking it, I noticed a change in my behavior, my attitude, my thoughts, feelings, everything. It made me very irritable, easily angered, lashing out, um, just constructive, de constructive behavior, or deconstructive. And it got to the point that, you know, I was getting into it with my parents and, you know, huge altercations with them with my child and which eventually led to me losing custody in 2016. Now, the reason I lost custody is due to an impulse that I had after I had an altercation with my family member and CPS was called over it and the day of my hearing my lawyer and social service person did not show up and even though he made a clean report and said there's nothing wrong here you know your child's safe I see no reason to take him away the judge went ahead and took him away and terminated my rights in 2016 without um, what I would consider probable cause because, you know, she didn't even hear out on the CPS worker and his findings. So, yeah. I spent months and months fighting, I think about nine months actually, is how long it took to fight to even be able to see my child. And during that time, you know, it just really, really, really messed me up. Not only was I dealing with a horrible disease and diagnostic, I was also dealing with the effects of what that drug did to me and trying to make sense of it all. Uh, my life was in a complete downward spiral and... I was just trying to figure out how to even survive and live with this illness. I was, and I don't think anybody thought about that. They didn't think about what this drug did to me. They didn't think about what I had going on in my life with epilepsy and how it was affecting my brain, my emotions, my thoughts, my feelings, all of it. They didn't take any of that in consideration when they took my kid away. And that's, you know, that's that's the thing. That's, that's why I say Kepra destroyed my life. And, you know, it took me therapists, psychologists, CPS, DCFS, all kinds of people to show, you know, I, I am a good parent. Yes, I've made my mistakes. And I've learned from them. And... I was not a bad mom. I was just, if anything, emotionally neglectful. Because I shut down. After I had my wreck and my seizure and diagnostic, I just completely shut down. And the medicine didn't help. So, that's why I heed warning of it. You know, my previous doctor didn't warn me of the side effects. He didn't give me any warning on anything. He just said, this is the best medication you can be on for epilepsy. That was it. 
nothing else. And this was my first neurologist, mind you. And God, I just, I wish, I just wish I would have known then what this drug was going to do to me. Because my feelings, honestly, I would rather have a thousand seizures a day than had been on that medication. I just totally ruined my life. And I think the thing that honestly makes me mad is I didn't choose to take this drug. This was a prescription to me for my epilepsy. It was an anticonvulsant. I was not heeded any warnings of it. I was not, you know, of course, I'm sure people are like, well, why didn't you ask? You know, sorry, but my mind was on a whole different path, okay? I was just trying to think of how I was going to survive with this illness. You know, what, what my life was going to be like with epilepsy. How it was going to change and alter it. I didn't think of... You know, what's the repercussions of this medicine? You know, all I wanted was to not ever have a seizure again because I seen what it did to my son when he seen me. I seen what it did to my family and what it did to me. And I just didn't want to do it again. I didn't want that. So, you know, I've worked really hard try to get my relationship back with my child. I've worked really hard to prove, you know, the system that, yeah, I'm a good mom. Yeah, I had a bad reaction to a medication, but why should I be held responsible for the rest of my life for something that I had no control over? I mean, seriously. And it's not right, and it's not fair, like, I, I hate to put it this way, but there are addicts out there that have their children born to addiction, and they keep their children. And I think that's the thing I don't understand with the system, is I was on a drug that was prescribed to me. I didn't take it on purpose, you know. It, was, it wasn't an opioid, it wasn't heroin, it wasn't crack, it wasn't cocaine. It was a prescribed medication for my epilepsy, anticonvulsant, and I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. There are people out there that have their kids that quite honestly shouldn't have their kids. Honestly, and I'm not saying that to be mean, but people have lost custody of their children for less. And I'm one of them. And I, you know, that's, that's why I heed warning about this drug. It's, I just think it needs to be heavily monitored. It needs to be heavily monitored. Because it can change a person's personality. It can make them mean, irritable, edgy violent and just totally out of character because it did it to me and that's why I like to warn people of this drug I know a lot of people get mad because people talk about it in a negative light but it needs to be known I'm sure it works good for a lot of people but that doesn't take away for what it does to some like me, it ruined my life, okay? I lost custody of my kid for nine months because of this drug. Because of what it did to me. Because of how it changed my personality. And, you know, my child would look at me sometimes and, like, he didn't even know who I was. And it took years to rebuild my relationship with him. I had to start all over with my kid, pretty much to build a bond and a relationship with him, to get him to trust me again. Yeah, because of what that drug did to me and how it made me. He, you know, lost trust in me. He lost confidence in me. He was scared of me. And I wish every day I would have never been on that drug. 
I wish. And that's why I heed warning of it. And I also heed warning to the system. You know, if you have a parent out there on medication, prescribed medication, for an illness or what have you, you know, look into it. Don't just judge by what you're told. Look deep into it and find out why is this person acting this way? Is this out of character for this person? What caused them to be this way? You know, it's and it, it wasn't just the it wasn't just the uh, diagnostic. You know, I just had a horrific car accident. How in the hell I'm still alive? I don't know. I guess by God's good graces. But you no, know, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to live my life with this illness because it was just dropped in my lap. This isn't something I was, you know, have dealt with my whole life. Yes, I had epilepsy, but the wreck brought it out of me. And it was just, like I said, dropped in my lap. And it was like, here you go. You have epilepsy. <laughs> go live your life the best you can. So, you know, I, I dealt with shock from that. I dealt with pain from the wreck. And, you know, I'm not asking for, like, sympathy, empathy, you know. I'm not pl trying to play the martyr here. You know, I know my faults in when I took this medication. I know how I was as a person, and I regret every day for being like that. Believe me, I've taken accountability for how I was. I don't ever, you know, I don't ever deny it. I was not a good person. And I think what heeded the warning or made me realize is I was on another drug as a kid, Paxil, which had the same effect. And I recognized the signs, so I took myself off of it cold turkey, which I do not recommend. Always go to your neurologist and express to them what's going on and let them gradually take you off, okay? Do not do what I did because it was stupid. And at the time, I probably shouldn't have done it. But I just, in my mind, I was like, screw this drug. You know, I'll take a million seizures a day over this. And when I told my doctor, um, I was still in denial of even having epilepsy at the time as well. And I found a new doctor. I got another EEG to confirm it. That yes, you indeed have epilepsy. And I was like, okay, this is my life. This is my new path. And... I've just got to accept it and do what I can to take care of myself. It was hard. It was a hard pill to swallow. You know, most people are born with it and, you know, they learn to live with it. Me, I just, I only had like a few months to really deal with it. And even then, I had to put my personal shit aside with this illness and focus on getting my kid back. I didn't even have time to really cope with what was going on inside of my brain and my body. Because before I knew it, I was in a courtroom fighting to get back custody of my kid. And, I, you know, I'm just now pretty much playing catch up with it. You know, and I try to heed warning of this illness, you know, the good, the bad. You know, what type of epilepsy, you know, mine is juvenile myoclonic and it's a very, the most, probably the le least aggressive kind, which I am thankful for. But it doesn't change the fact that this illness has altered my life in a way unrecognizable. And that, I'm going to be flat out honest, the system is broken in this country. There are people every day that lose their kids over the pettiest ass shit. Okay, you know, I get that the system and such had the best intentions for my child, but they never really looked over my case and looked into what was going on into my life at the time. 
and you know that's and it's sad there's there's people that have lost their children for petty stuff and then there's people that still keep their children for way far more serious issues and that's what I don't understand you know I was I don't want to say a victim but I guess I was just one of those um how do you put it statistic of this medication and its bad side effects And I just, I do, I wish I would have known if I could turn back time, I'd be like, uh-uh. And that's what I told my other neurologist. I said, you're not putting me on Keppra. I don't care what you do put me on, but you're not putting me on it. And they were like, okay. So, you know, all the other drugs that I've taken for my illness have helped. So, but that's my warning to all of you all. Thanks for listening.